And if I talk about my childhood, I can't stop thinking about rhythms in beats, in music. I remember those trips in the car with my father from my house to school. That during the whole way, my father would try and find a song on the radio to listen to. Half of the journey was spent trying to stream local radio. The other half, we listened to music. This is music, he used to tell me before patting me on the head with his heavy hand. He wouldn't measure his strength sometimes. I went to a public school. My parents couldn't afford a private one, but of course they had enough to buy their favorite artist's latest vinyl record every month at the record store. Vinyls that I still have. That's right. At home, not everything was funk or rock. We also had extremely delicate moments. Absolute accuracy. Sound depth. Every day of my life, since I can remember, a classical piece was played with extreme attention. Verdi, Wagner, Beethoven, Vivaldi, Grieg, Mozart, Haydn, Tchaikovsky, Bach, amongst others. True works of art built with sounds. I remember sitting on the floor in front of the speakers and listening intently to those pieces as if it were opening a safe. Accuracy. Every afternoon, my grandmother polished our stereo with a protective liquid for wood whilst listening to a classical music. She stroked my head and then gave me a kiss on the forehead. Everything was sinister and sweet. Somewhere between epic, cheerful and dramatic, depending on the composer we were listening to at that moment. My mother was a lover of funk music and spinning records all day at home. The one responsible for spinning those records was my friend Ken. Ken Brown, model X700SS. Ken was the artist, the heart of the house. He was the conductor of the orchestra. He was the last sound system that my grandmother bought in the early 1970s. A wooden box, similar in size to a coffin, with two large speakers on each side that waved in stereo, the air molecules in my house every time the needle touched a vinyl surface. Although my mother and father were very different musically speaking, my mother more funk orientated and my father a little more psychedelic. At times, for a few bars, they agreed. At home, I always played music, and from an early age, I developed a very special knack for hearing. The music and the sounds that surrounded and surround me now made and make my life like a movie. This is my film. It's my story. A film of more than 40 years. A world that happens inside my head, where the songs are mixed. The sensations where everything reproduces simultaneously. Where the pulse accelerates to the right point. A perfect sound texture. To better understand what my perception of sound is like, 
I recommend hearing this story with headphones. Do you have them on? 